Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Well, the Australian dollar remains above the 73 cent level after the US dollar took a very heavy tumble over the last 48 hours. With the ball still advancing, the market is now pressuring the level of 73.80. Now that was the uh, high of the intraday overnight and the market did shy away slightly from there. At present, I see the support from 73.15 and slightly firmer beneath at 72.55. It is viewed the market would need to take the challenge higher today. If not, then it gives me some indication that we are seeing a bit of a breakdown as the market approaches the 60-day moving average of 74.19, which also was respected and showed a very heavy two days of candles to the downside. So I do expect to see the market a little bit hesitant as it takes the challenge towards that region. The euro, well, the dollar index has been under pressure and posts a low of 94.94 overnight, which is around 0.66% of losses. With the level taken out at 114.85, now questions whether the market has enough momentum to continue, but we do have the Fed minutes to come, which is later today, or more precisely at 4 a.m. in the morning, Sydney time. It is viewed that um, the market will be looking very closely to see what the Fed is thinking, and also to see if the Fed is holding its view to a rate hike for September and penciled in in December. Support on the day seen at 115.45 to 115.90. The dollar yen now showing a bit of a downtrend here at 110.80.85 and at present shows the support at 109.40.45. From a technical point, the market is still slightly bearish, so therefore I do expect to see further pressure, pressure to the downside and look towards the region of 109.40.45 to 108.75 and reassess from there. Pound nudges higher and breaks in towards the 129 region. <clears throat> it is suggested that tonight the UK will be releasing a deal or no deal or Brexit and as the first round of notices are released. The market will be very much on a tender side. The fact is that um, we could see a very, very sharp sell-off. The RSI is clearly back to the top side of the range. So towards 129.50 or 130 figure 45, I expect to see supply coming in heavily and see the market drop back towards the region of 127 to 126. Gold, since the rebound of 1,160, has claimed its targets of 90 and 96 in the last 24 hours and still at present could show further stride towards the upside. That said, I'm a little bit cautious to that call is the market is still a little bit unaware of what the Fed minutes might come out with and if they are very much sticking to a very strong hike in the coming of this year then we could see a little bit of pressure coming back into gold so do play a little bit careful nevertheless the market may take some profit here or it may stretch itself to about ten dollars and get towards the region of 1206 support on the day however comes in now at 1193 to 1188 the oil claims the target of the broken level of 66 overnight, but still not taking out the challenge to the top side of 66.5. At present, no confirmation has been supporting of this rally, so therefore, unless we get a break above 66.5 to, to 80, then I still hold the view down towards the region of $62 a barrel. That was confirmed from the break of $66. So do keep a very close watch on this and keep your stop loss to your risk management in case we do see a pop to the upside, but it looks unlikely at this stage. Well, that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, look out for the intraday report. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day that's ahead.